And I'm just thinking about Envy Heroes, and there's nothing coming to mind right now that would be amazing. But they have to choose, and it is... Juggernaut. There we go. Boots picked up for a bat rider, so a uh, head start here for him. Already up 4 and one they're bringing help up to top lane. Jirax, the double stun is beautiful. Pylite die. He goes for Frost Armor at level 2, but that won't actually stop. No tell from taking the first blood. They'll lose Jirax. So he didn't actually get his stack. Oh, Fly. Fly is... Boned. Put your dead. Out. He's trying to fly over the tree line. He's out of range of everything until AUI takes the to the skies. And he'll fall. Meanwhile, in mid lane, Anna looking for the kill over on Fado with a stun from Jirax and that Melt Strike. It does the damage, but Anna's in trouble. MSS. Speaking of which, Jirax has his vendetta because of that ancient stack. Scouts out three heroes Ooh, moving towards the top lane. Big info. They even sentry just to be safe. The sentry ward for the radiant side is a little bit too far over. Now the stun, it hits on Eternal Envy. If they can kill him off before it gets his spin, no, the spin will happen. The cold em Brace tried to also save S4, who was in a little bit too deep, but it's OG. Even with the information, they still cannot take the fight. That was so sick from MSS. So next to their shrine, they could have TP'd in heroes to help and maybe take that fight, but... Here we go. Blink Lasso. They found a big one. It's Anna. They'll protect him already with a cold embrace. That's now the curse. Onto Eternal Envy. S4 prepping himself, but they just stampede out. OG make the call, this is not worth the squeeze, but maybe they still find Anna, he has a TP, killing off MSS, but the Omni Slash, Refraction was down, didn't have Meld as an option, No Tell and Fly, both hit by the Sonic Wave of Varda, No Tell escaping out of possible, now the Lich Holdy flies forward, he will go down. Varda claiming that kill, no doppelganger to work with, and there was not much that Jirax to do to help. But I think the Orchid, the Orchid build has a lot of merit in, in mini games still. OG are, are coming. Are they maybe. found a target. It's going to be Night Stalker. They did that instant stun. Hoof Stomp Blink does the work with the meld. At least he's got the Frost Armor AUI. Very tanky on that Night Stalker. They'll finally kill him off. The curse on the Queen of Pain. Eternal Envy is currently killing his teammates at the moment. No Tell wants to keep burning off the mana. That's why the Illusions run forward to help out. And OG, they could have just gone for Roshan instead. That line was very quickly drawn, saying they want to fight first. And then into a tier one tower once more. S4 is ready to jump, but he's on the wrong side. Maybe he can oh, find five. Envy. No tells all around him. The blinking from MSS, but Templar Assassin went with S4. They initiated into the back lines of Cloud9. Oh, and Cloud9 was initiated into the back lines of OG. It's basically skitter scatter everywhere. Hit with the Mel Strike. Bat Rider wants a little bit more time to survive, and maybe the life is there. No, S4 will jump forward. Gets the double edge. They'll take the tower, and that was the cleaner fight that OG wanted on top lane before. S4 was scattered, moving up towards the Shrine. Radiant They're scanning to see where else he goes. Fly, going to scout at MSS, the Blink Lasso. It's over on the Y, but not the target they wanted, especially when the Stampede kicks in. A double Hoffstone. The Omni Slash Fly is low. The BKB is fired oh, from chain. MSS. The Chain from oh, OG! Boy. The damage! They were not expecting that! Jirax will fall! Cloud9 just got the greatest fight they could have ever have asked for! OG will be wipe from the face of the earth and they get the biggest one at the end and it will go down for 343 three gold into MSS something's gonna give he doesn't have mana <laughs> he has to use a shrine one illusion was able to hit him. Now the blink last so on the cover of the BKB. You also have to keep the nice soccer out of the fight and Anna stampedes back just a little bit further He's still got the double damage rune on him. It's Phantom Lancer who's in too deep. The Cold Embrace buying time. Curse onto AUI. Eternal Envy turns attention towards Nice Soccer, unwillingly killing him down. And with the double edge, the damage is too much. Fata wants to help out. Now the Sonic Wave, but it almost seems futile, even though it does connect on four heroes. Maybe not so futile. Turning around looking for Anna. But they don't find the kill. S4 blinks, but MSS blinks away in time. Doesn't get caught by the Hoofstomp. That would have been game if he goes down here. Clean up the mess that's inside of his base. Mjolnir is not enough. BKB from MSS commits him, but now he's just got a whole bunch of no-tails around him. Fana cannot keep his mana up. These illusions keep draining them dry when they cannot even do combinations because the mana pools are not full enough. So Cloud9, they'll have to admit defeat for, th for this first game. But hey, that's why it's a two-game series. Lasso, oh, the curse, 
It's on MSS, eternal envy to the middle, but with the double stun follow-up, you've lost your Barret Rider. Queen of Pain will go down. She'll buy back. They still really want to fight to the last man. There's so much PL. The Hofstall from S4 catching thrice. And that is the game. They had to get a clearer message just to ensure it was GG. OG take game one. <laughs> Also a nice game. A lot of good action, a lot of fights from both sides. Could be a choice. Actually sets up and rounds up their lineup very nicely, but he's not the best against Pugna. Like when the roll ends. Yeah, good roll oh. again from EY though. This he's time he has to start, he's gonna kill him. Oh. With the kick, Icarus dive, it takes too long from Fly. He didn't actually have Sprites to give either. There was no way for no tell. Fly is running away from MSS. Whirling dead them. One more punch will do the work. Lane's died. No tell. You can see oh, those were good balls. though. That was really good shards. Counterplay from oh, AUI. Rolling boulder. AUI got the double kick onto Anna as well as Jirax. Jirax has a snowball available. Anna trying to get out of this one. The Life Strike Ray will connect. Fada staying right on his tail with the one charges and the cost. The slave will be able to reach him. Pretty much level six would have been maybe an almost level seven Lena and a level five invoker. And that is really going again. Now instead, there's plays available. Uh, Very nice by Jerex. You want to tilt somebody? This is one way to do it. Snowball forward. Fada able to get the uh, obey, able to get Cole snapped up. Anna with the extra help of Fly. <gasps> the Light Strike Array is actually going to get him with the slave. Fada, turn your frown upside down. They'll get both. The Fire Rat as well as the Master of Magic. Jerex is coming Happens. in towards the mid. They're trying to stop Eternal Envy and AUI from just taking the tower. So Jerex will take the creep wave. Away from the tower, rolling boulder, dodged by Jirax. See it coming from a mile away. And then rolling boulder to the range creep under the tower. Sunray's out, Jirax doesn't have enough life to survive that. AUI trying to help out with a kick. Now into the Omni Slash. Anna, the Sun Strike's in a good position. Eternal Envy sharing the burden with his creep wave. But the burden is too much. Envy will die underneath the tier one tower. No Tail joins the fight, but he doesn't have the mana. OG, they are here. They're here in force. Quick little sigil. Envy starts his spin. He may have actually really wanted to have that in a bit, but uh, Jirax throws the shards out. They'll be pushed a little bit higher. Pile I die. He's got that Chain Frost available. Stray is out. Here comes Pile I die. Chain Frost up. Icarus dives. He's going to take it up, down, and around. And the Snowball, it never bounces. The Omni Slash, it goes on top of S4. Envy starting off his spin. S4 doesn't have the, da the, the life to survive through this. Maybe now he does. Able to get the call and the dunk. The bonus move speed. Getting Jirax oh, to get wow. away. And the blink from S4 to the trees. The bonus is allow them to escape the timber saw it's extremely gimmicky it could happen but i don't even think he's thought about Envy. that option call sunstrike the blade mail is down and that's exactly what you're talking about it's the counter to the juggernaut when blade mail is up juggernaut goes oh, down ow. Woo! there goes the pop and the lich halty it doesn't bounce anymore though but you've still got a two for three trade up Jirax will go down stuck inside the chakram but now mss is the one in trouble anna sitting in the back lines with all the disable all the control it's a Cloud9 who are all missing on the map at the moment. The Observe Ward scouting both the Lina and the Timber. Now the Lich. Okay, they see everything. And the ES. And they smoked underneath the Dire Observer Ward. S4. Which call do you want to go on? They focus over on the Lina. Once again, Blade Mel, they're able to delete one hero from this fight. How much more? Is OG able to get into the Nova? Pilot die as well as AUI having real issues getting out of range of the Nova. And it's four, too deep. The Lich Holdy will bounce around. It goes down and Pug is back up into Anna and Axe. They're trying to Sunray heal through this. Now Fly ends up tanking it. They will survive the Glimmer. They're getting a little bit of the damage. Snowball up into MSS. Jurex needs more space to fight out this one. Underneath the cover of the Nether Ward. Now Fly still very low. 44 HP, but 44 is enough to stay alive. MSS cannot find him on the back line. Eternal Envy into the fight too. He's already burned his Omni Slash S4. Looking for the spins on the wave, letting the Blade Mail do the work. Dunks, Sparta! Just they kill each other at the very end of it all. Cloud9 are pushing out hard. They want all the OG calls, but no tell. Sucking them dry for the moment until they'll cut him down with the blades. Maybe what they want to do is just not fight at all. Force this exact oh, situation. No yeah, but Anna is all. Uh, well, okay, yeah, they can fight top Get lane. I'm sticking down away. towards bottom lane if they want MSS. The Sunstrike is going to be able to connect with Cole Snaps as well. Here comes your call once more. S4, all they got to do is drop him down low, and then they can culling blade him down. So it looked like S4 was just trying to create space. Meanwhile, on top lane, No Tail is still alive. The sentries are down from both sides. No Tail makes a break for the tree line. Observer Man. is also planted. The creep wave will take care of that pretty quickly. 
So this, this smoke and mirrors snowball forward. He's going for eternal envy. It's not even for Pylai Dai. Jirax doesn't even give a crap about the support. He wants the core. The Nova, they're trying to run out. Envy thought for a moment he could run in. In fact, he made his way towards the Nova. Shards by Ford once more. Here comes your Timbersaw, but he got smacked down by the Nova. And Anorus joined the fight as well. The call is out. S4 held them there. The Sunray, he cannot reach Jirax, but the burn will hit onto Fada. Second life available. Thanks to the Aegis, the Immortal. Timbersaw drained insane low. AUI wants something more. No tell. On the run back out. All of OG are trying to run out and No tell hides <laughs> in a crevice. They don't see him. They have no idea. Clueless is the name of this movie. Cloud9 need detection, man. They... Alright, here we go. Oh, tornado, EMP. Uh, yep. All he wants to do is just to lay up MSS. MSS got a Yule Scepter out of the effect of at least the EMP. As they push him down, but S4, the perfect call. They dunk down the Timbersaw. Unkillable, I think not. And now they go for more. The quick tornado. It caught a Tunnel Envy. You said his life was hard. He'll spin, get punched, flip like an omelet from Tusker. They want more. Omni Slash. Tusker needs some help. S4 will tank. It turns on the blade mouse, starts to spin up. And a Tunnel Envy so low. S4 getting the breath of life from No Tail. The Sun Strikes right in the mark too. Pilot I will fall. Anna has himself a double kill under the protection of his BKB. Sands his ground. He'll look for the gem. MSS will have to gather it up. Then here they go. Tusker, snowball forward. Anna does have that gem of true sight stolen from Cloud9, so he knows he got the vision the vision win. And they're searching for AUI. Snowball. <gasps> AUI is gonna drag Jirax in pretty far. In fact, Jirax in way too deep. They'll kill him off and maybe get that gem back. Glimmer but cape. No. no, not again. Glimmer cape, the sunray, oh. and the drain from No Tail. Jirax is back to full life. They sustain. Right now, as Team Fortress 2 Medic, you're going to the Omni Slash S4, calls, tanks it himself, realizing his armor. Envy hits like kittens at the moment. The problem is for Cloud9 that they're not accomplishing anything. They're just losing towers. Yep. There oh, we go. Here we go. They get one for the Snowball S4. He's got the call on the back line. Starts to spin. The Sun Strike will connect on the mark. Hey, I will fall. Oh, there's your Culling Blade. Bonus damage for every, or movement for everyone. And at least Pilot dies. Ulti has done some work. Tuscar will fall, Gemma True Sight's on the ground, Anna's completely bone dry of mana, but then again, No Tail is wetting his lips on Pylai Dies. And Fada pigleted up, S4 will get the call, perfect chain control, and GG is done. OG had a brilliant one in their group stage at TI6, and they're off to a pretty good start with this 2 0 victory over Cloud9. Yep, there's still some of those classic OG moments in in this game, I think.